Hey, what's going on everybody? Tommy Starr here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to another unboxing and weekly pickups video for release day December 8th. Not a huge release week, but still we got some cool stuff to talk about. I got four packages here from Amazon. Uh, we got one item in each package. I also have this package here from Stinky Tuna. I actually got this a few days ago and I just haven't opened it up yet. I figured I'll just do it in this video. I did get one item in store, but before we get into the packages, everybody, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, you guys enjoy unboxing videos and being kept up to date with all the new releases week by week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way you guys never miss out on anything new. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. So real quick, not much to talk about along the lines of stuff I didn't get, but worth mentioning Yellowstone season three got released today with Kevin Costner. I don't know anything about that show, but that did get released today. Uh, Godfather Coda, is it called? Got released to Blu-ray today. It's some kind of an alternate cut of The Godfather 3, apparently. And I did see that that was in store at Walmart, I believe. But other than that, there's not really much else to talk about. So let's dive into these packages. So we'll start with the Sticky Tuna. I think I mentioned in my last video, my Blu-ray update, that I, I got this but uh, just getting around to opening it up now, so. Still something pretty cool here. And that is Christmas Chronicles 2. Already got the first one from Sneaky Tuna, and now we got the second one. I'm surprised, because I think this is brand new this year, and we already got uh, it released from Sneaky Tuna on Blu-ray, so pretty awesome, happy to have both of those. Okay, let's get into the Amazon packages. So like normal, I don't really know what's what here, but we'll just do one at a time. First one. Okay, we got a new to 4K title this week. Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx in a movie called Collateral. Yeah, I've never seen this movie, but I mainly bought it because I've been wanting to see it for the longest time. Everybody I know who's seen this movie love it. They say it's an awesome movie. A uh, really good performance from Tom Cruise, even though I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan. But wasn't that much money, and I definitely wanted to check it out. So that did get released this week. On to this one. Okay, going to have to use the scissors on this one. So this got released by, yeah, Lionsgate. You can always tell with the new like slip covers and the design to them, but a movie called Smiley Face Killers, inspired by true events. But one thing else I found out about this movie that I thought was pretty cool is that it is directed by Tim Hunter, who is actually the director of a favorite film of mine from the 80s called River's Edge with uh, Keanu Reeves and Crispin Glover. And Crispin Glover is actually in this film as well. So it's kind of cool that after all these years, you know, they've done another movie together. So, but it looks pretty cool if you guys want to read about it here. On the back but anyways on to the next here okay. all right we got a film called possessor and this is a film directed by brandon cronenberg the son of david cronenberg i've been hearing a lot of really good stuff about this movie and i guess that you have to get the uncut version, which thankfully this is. I guess it's way different uh, from the uh, non-uncut version, but cool looking slipcover on here. I was really surprised that this was the title that came to 4K. There is a Blu-ray of it. I don't know if the Blu-ray edition is uncut or just the standard edition, but sounds like a pretty freaky movie. Hopefully you guys can read about it. I don't know if you guys can read that small print. But yeah, looks pretty cool. And son of David Cronenberg, the director of the Fly remake. So, all right, one last package here. Right here. 
And I think this is my, uh, uh, the title that I was most excited about this week. Okay. First time to 4K. And that is Arnold Schwarzenegger in Total Recall from 1990. This was released by Lionsgate. I love this film. One of my all-time favorite Schwarzenegger titles. So happy it came to 4K. Definitely, you know, one of the most fun and entertaining films. It's definitely wild and crazy and cheesy like most of the 80s and 90s Schwarzenegger stuff. Especially the, uh, the three-boobed woman in this movie. Uh, but it has some cool effects. And, yeah, love the new artwork on here. But I definitely recommend checking this out if you guys haven't seen Total Recall. I just, I grew up watching this, and I just, I, I just love it, so. And it's only $15 in store and on Amazon, as far as I know, so that, that's cheap for a new 4K. But anyways, getting to the last item here, what I picked up in store. That, of course, is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Total Recall. <laughs> I, I have a steelbook for Total Recall, the Blu-ray one they put out many, many years ago. Love the look of this still book, so I had to get this. We're going to go ahead and crack this open. Looks like it's got one of those clear slip, uh, slip covers over it. But uh, let's let's open her up and take a closer look. There's a better shot at the cover there. I love the artwork. We'll go ahead and slide the slip cover off. And, okay, so the slip cover has the Schwarzenegger at the top and the title of the movie. So when you take that off, you don't have no more title, which is kind of cool. But look at that art. It's just awesome. All the main characters. It's just too cool but so that's the front there's the back looks like a continuation from the front as well as the spine that's pretty unique go ahead and crack her open here we got a special features disc in here on blu-ray some artwork it's pretty cool and then we have the 4k disc in red with some artwork that's neat the film on blu-ray kind of a dark one That's cool. And then here's the look at the front, back, and spine all together like that. That's really unique. And it's kind of like a, a cross between matte and uh, glossy, but cool looking still book. All right, this week's stack, not too shabby. Got some more pretty cool stuff yet again. But that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what you picked up this week, and let me know what you guys think of my pickups. And if you would, share the video around. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.